Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Bright Eye here. And today we are in the house actually about to edit a video. But then something happened today that I decided to share with you guys. Um, I had a, a drone gig. A friend of mine called me for a drone gig. And, you know, I just decided to show up for him. And it was um, a video, a social media video for a company called um, Sufami Glass. I think it's one of the biggest um, glass companies in the country. So we just, I showed up very early in the morning, around 8 a.m. And, you know, the company was, I mean, they are, their employees were now coming, so they had to do their morning devotions and all that. So after doing the morning devotions, we had to, it wasn't just one location. They have another warehouse at Dome. So we went down to Dome to um, shoot that side, the warehouse alone. And that is where I crashed my drone to so actually crash my drone twice um in a day so this is how the dji air 2s propeller has to look and this is how it looks now after i crashed it so as you saw in the intro um that was actually a different place so with the crash at um, the warehouse at domain I didn't get, I wasn't recording then. I was just flying back to position to fly sideways back to wherever I want to shot, I, I wanted to shoot. So while flying sideways, I just, the drone tilted off its, um, off the line that I was flying on. And then it just ran into the wall and I broke a propeller. Luckily, you know, it's a warehouse and they've packed so many boxes over there. So it didn't fall all the way to the ground. It fell into the box i mean onto the box so that is how come i only broke the propeller and the other propellers has um some small small <laughs> should i say breezes or small small marks on them you know the air 2s has um back sensors top sensors down sensors and forward facing sensors so um the sensors are actually to prevent it from crashing or colliding into any obstacle but when you are flying indoors because there are so many obstacles already and you are flying through them you would have to turn off the sensors or to fly in sports mode but i decided to turn off the sensors so that it wouldn't stop because with the sensors on when you are flying into an obstacle it will either stop or bypass it so i turned it off to neither stop or bypass so um I was just flying and then it didn't it, it, it saw the sensor and um, the obstacle but it couldn't stop and then i just flew into it and then we came back to the the main office which is at achimata golf park and over there we were shooting um, a video in the factory as they were working so the factory is a very big one so we shot i wanted to make it one single shot like the way they do with the fpvs but this is a Mavic drone. It can't do FPV. And the size is so huge. Just look at this. It's just so big. I'm just seeing it in my palm. You see, so it's so big. It can't fit in tight spots. But, you know, my stubborn, my stubborn head decided to, um, let me just fold it back. I just decided to, you know, use it like an FPV or the DJI new. The new release that they have, which is very small and it's meant for tight spaces. So I decided to fly that like that and flew. So I, I wanted to make it all one single shot. So I flew all the way from the, the factory outside. So I flew inside the factory. I was just flying through. I'll show you the footage. I, I was just flying through, um, you know, these obstacles and these, um, um, pillars and all that but then when i got outside because i was inside the factory i couldn't really see the position of the drone outside so while i was flying i, I was flying flying backwards too so i just flew straight into the power lines the ecg power lines and it just tilted the drone off its off its balance and dji is so crazy with this technology that 
you know, kudos to DJI. I just salute them because this thing costs so much and every technology in here is totally worth the money. So it hit the ECG power line and rolled a couple of times. So if before the very moment it would it would hit the floor, it just regained its balance. It just regained, it just resurfaced. And I had to run from the factory all the way out because I thought I had lost my drone. I've crashed my drone before back in um, you know, December 2023. And I was like, this is a more expensive one. The, the one I crashed was um, Mini 2. Uh, there is an Air 2S. Very, very expensive. And the gimbal is the most fragile part. So I was just thinking about the gimbal. Hey, I've lost my drone again. So I just ran out only to come and see that. It's just hanging on there. And I was just so happy and relieved. You know, because, you know, I could have just lost the drone like that. So yeah, that's what happened. And if you haven't subscribed already, do what to subscribe. So I decided to share with, with my beautiful viewers. And also to let you know that if you have any drone gig, um, kindly do what to let me know. Um, I will show up and give you a beautiful um, video. And I also want you to know that I've worked with, so far I've worked with Sofami and also an award-winning um, photographer here in the country called Franklin Jan Jr. Um, who is the CEO of 11 Space. I've worked with them. And, you know, I've done a lot, many other jobs that are very good looking. And you can check my um, Instagram page to see some of my personal works. So do well to hit me up when you have any drone um, um, gig, let's say a ceremony or um, an event or anything. Just let me know. I'll give you crazy, amazing shots. So, yeah. Um... If you are new to this channel, do well to hit that subscribe button and like the video and also leave a comment. Let me know if you've ever been in my situation before. So until I see you in the next one, stay safe and be awesome.